African father turns African traditional way of ironing clothes into business. Before electricity and electric ironing, we had the Iron Stone Age in Africa. Most things were made from iron for fire, such as this iron box, we still use today for ironing our clothes in villages, where we have no electricity as will be demonstrated by this African father who has turned it into bizines. The iron box is filled with hot charcoal usually lighted from an energy stove before cooking. The hot lighted charcoal is picked from the stove to place big pieces into place that last long to iron a big batch. Here, you can see how the charcoal has been placed to wait a few minutes for the iron box to hit up when close to increase warmth and open to carefully blow and increase fire lighting when running low. The water in the basin will be used to place the below end of the iron box to cool the metal down for soft clothes. All right, let's get into the demo. A shirt like this is placed on the iron table for normal ironing as one would do with electric flat iron for example at home. But here it's being done as a business by this man to earn a living for his family. He has innovatively transferred the African traditional ironing knowledge that evolved from Iron Age era still used even today in villages while saving electricity resources to operate as a business in one of the country's biggest busy markets. This will be a shirt dropped off by a customer. First, a lot of ash may form inside, which he has to shake off in the first basin with water so it doesn't go in the air being in a busy people market. Then having organized the shirt, it looks to be soft material. He will have to cool the iron box a little in the second basin, not to burn material. The moment he starts the iron box will be cool and will have to keep monitoring it for normal heating to continue. High heating to cool with water and low heating to open and blow the charcoal. It will all depend how attached the cloth is to the flat box. He irons carefully and even changes all sides monitoring closely. This type of iron box is made from recycled metal and sometimes smelted from actual metal as we shall see the interesting actual process in future in case you are wondering how African metal is recycled it's an interesting process. The ironing process continues as normally and watch how he carefully places the box on a rock or stone. Sometimes one can place it upwards on its back but carefully with charcoal secured inside so it doesn't spill on the floor with especially kids playing or walking around. A shirt normally goes for around a quarter a dollar that's 1000 Uggs while some clothes go for half of a quarter a dollar that's 500 Uggs and some will go as high as half a dollar and the highest pricing is less a dollar for each piece all types of clothing is ironed for women, men, children, sheets etc. Here we can see a customer came to pick their clothing and making payments. He was kind enough to let us take a few shots of the process. Most customers are actually tailors like him, especially those working on wedding gowns, such as this white and black clothing looked like a groom's changing wear. Here, we can see how well folded the clothing is readied for the tailor customer. Other customers may be the ones washing clothes locally known industries called Dobby that wash mainly by hand and iron almost same way given electricity may be high even to use the very very rare washing machines. I can say I've never used a washing machine and that's over 99.99% of my fellow Africans as we wash by hand in villages or town center stays same. Well back to ironing. We proceeded ironing process and the collar is folded to organize the buttons for final touches of ironing and professional shirt folding. Here are final touches of ironing at from and back and one cannot really tell any difference what type of box iron was used electricity or charcoal box. The process is similar and quick taking the same pace. Thank you for joining us today to see how ironing of clothes was done traditionally in Iron Age Africa and how it's even more relevant now for both business and saving energy costs as demonstrated by this African father. It would be wonderful you click subscribe to support channel growth please. Well now that the ironing is complete, the shirt is folded professionally to keep it intact upon pickup without creasing. 
that means with the collar and buttons tied in place. The long sleeves are carefully folded at the back and the sides two folded along before the whole assemble is folded into two. It had then placed alongside other ironed clothing for later customer pickup as seen before. Other tailors nearby, like the women tailors, will indeed his great market too. Some people sell first-hand clothes to attract more exquisite customers at their shops. Ironing is one value addition where nice ironed clothes exhibited at shops like these will indeed attract a higher pricing with less bargaining hustle. Oh, yes, bargaining is so normal in an African market. Remember, 